हेलो गुड इवनिंग मुझा है हेलो हेलो सर इट्स अ डेमो वी नीड टू वेट फॉर सेशन ओके सर सर क्या आप क्या हम हिंदी में बात कर सकते हैं मतलब इसमें हेलो सर हाँ बोलिए सर हम हिंदी में पूछ सकते कुछ मतलब डाउट हो रहा कुछ हुआ पूछ सकते हैं ज्यादातर क्लास जो ना इंग्लिश में रहेगी इंग्लिश हिंदी तेलुगु जैसे मुनासिब समझे आप बीच में हिंदी में भी पूछ सकते हैं नहीं सर हमें है ना तो इंग्लिश समझ में आ जाती है आपकी बताई हुई लेकिन थोड़े बोलने में थोड़ी दिक्कत होती है मतलब क्वेश्चन वगैरह पूछने में हाँ हाँ बीच में आप हिंदी में पूछ सकते हैं ऐसा कुछ नहीं सर एक्चुअली मैं ना प्रेशर हुआ अभी मैं एक्सेल ज्वाइन कर रहा हूँ डेटा एंट्री करना है आगे मुझे उसके लिए मैं अभी ज्वाइन किया हूँ आपको कॉल हाँ हाँ कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं है प्रेशर के लिए भी बहुत अच्छा है पूरे हम लोग टिप्स वगैरह बताएंगे सर एक्चुअल मेरा कैसा है मतलब जॉब असिस्टेंट के लिए उसके लिए थोड़ा सपोर्ट चाहिए राइट वेरी गुड इवनिंग टू ऑल ऑनलाइन ऑफलाइन वन सेकेंड और राइट सो आई हैड ए इंट्रोडक्शन वन टू वन इंट्रोडक्शन विद ऑफलाइन एज वेल एज ऑनलाइन सो लेट मी लेट मी शेयर यू अबाउट आर इंस्टीट्यूट फर्स्ट बिफोर स्टार्टिंग माई सेशन लेट मी इंट्रोड्यूस अबाउट आर इंस्टीट्यूट This demo is not like nothing but uh, giving an advertisement and all. First of all, we'll have an overview what we will be working, what are the topics we'll be learning. All this we'll be see, and then we'll start the session. So, excellent things. Team X now it's called as Team X Athletics Private Limited, where it's one-stop destination for training as well as business con consulting solution. Where we provide corporate trainings. So as it's a private limited organization, every company has vision, vision about us about training institute. The next uh, milestone you can see uh, we are into industry from 2014. As, as an ISO 9015 certified trainer, all trainers are professional, uh, certified professionals from in my team. The next pro project assistance will be provided. We have corporate tie ups with colleges, corporate organizations, corporates also. We have more than 30,000 plus LinkedIn connections facilitated by four. 5,000 Microsoft certifications to the students, more than 5,000, not only limited with 5,000. We have trained, uh, that's what we have trained more than 20,000 from 2014. So till now, more than 20. So rank one of the top most training institute under Urban Pro under educational category, training category. And uh, the analytics related for the future and all. And what courses we are offering presently? So we are offering like courses like Advanced Excel, VBA Macros, SAP Automation, Power Apps, Power BI, MS Access, Python, Tableau, Power BI, the next business intelligence, Tally, MS Office, and also certification related part Microsoft Office Specialist, where it consists of Word, Excel, Access, PowerPoint, Outlook. And uh, based on our experience, we have customized some of the courses which will be useful for the students as well as for employees. So weapon certification, analytics, power pack certification, your power BI, PL 300, DA 100, all these certification we're providing as well as consulting solution, Excel reporting, VBA macros, power BI development, dashboard and templates creation, all will be supporting. So training highlights, we can see we are partnered with colleges and corporate groups, provide real-time project assistance, uh, post-training support, 
support with interview questions, online, offline trainings, player provide placement assistance, as well as provide training and backup sessions for those who have missed out the classes. The next, as I told, we have based on our experience, we have customized the trainings, so which will be very useful for the students as well as employees. So we have uh, presently run market training is on this analytic power pack, where it consists of three courses combined, combined of three courses like advanced Excel, SQL, and Power BI for data analyst post. So basically, Power BI is in market Power BI is trending now. So, Bob, to learn Power BI, if you have a, a little bit basic understanding of this, like advanced Excel topic, if you are familiar, and SQL, like nothing but giving a connections and all, if you are familiar with these two, almost like 50 to 60% of Power BI knowledge we will be gaining if you are aware, aware of these particular applications. The next two, two and with a real time project, will be working. So, duration of the for this is approximately 80 hours. Right. The next weapon we have customized for the fresher college students, those who have just completed their graduations and all searching for job opportunities. So this particular course will be very useful for them. That's called as weapon. So stands for Word, Excel, Access, PowerPoint, Outlook application and networking skills. So weapon, overall MS Office related applications. Right. Word, Excel, Access. PowerPoint application, Outlook application, as well as networking skills. Not networking is not system to system networking, communication between the colleagues, communication, right? That is networking. So where you can see we have gone with this course to make you corporate ready. Once you are familiar with these particular courses, you will be ready for corporate, joining for corporates. The next, so it consists of 50 hours of training, right? Now, <coughs> So all the courses related duration. So we are partner with our college clients as well as corporate clients. Few of the colleges are like St. Joseph PG and Degree College, Hindu College for Women, University of Hyderabad, Planet Finance Business School, St. Mary Colleges, corporate clients like Dr. Eddie's, Real Page, HSBC, Tata Project, New Land, ITC, PNG. These are some of the clients. We have many more like this. The next is Mr. Kishore, founder, uh, uh, CEO and the founder of this Excel Ethics. Hold certifications. So our team members. Testimonial from other different clients. Where we have done corporate trainings for them. So reviews from different uh, platforms. So wherever you go, you are, we are available like Just Dial, Excel Ethics. Even for a social media platforms also, in all platform we are having. Right. So this is our network. Basically, we are running with four centers. So most of these centers, that were three centers where we are, we are conducting classes. One is at Amir Pet, registered office. The next KPHB and Chikarpalli. Now presently, session is running at Chikarpalli. And Postmodern University for a meetings and all, we'll be workshop conducting, we'll be working with this. So this is about a small introduction about uh, Excel Ethics. Now let me take you through uh, my introduction also before starting session. Let me have a small introduction of mine. Uh, myself, Mohammed Tanil, working as an IT faculty and also director of Team Excel Ethics Private Limited. And also I'm a Microsoft certified trainer, certified by Microsoft, Microsoft Office Specialist, as well as Microsoft Excel expert with various versions. And also, I'm a corporate trainer where I'm part of classes for more than 100 different clients, right? So let me show you some of my clients where I've imparted classes mostly on advanced Excel. So these are my clients individually where I've imparted classes. So these are my clients where I've imparted classes mostly on advanced Excel. So one of the biggest organization on this, this is only one page, this type of page, I have multiple more pages like this. So in this, you can see one of the biggest organization like Aditya Birla, KPMG, right? The next Tata Group, Gen Packs, right? Asian Paints. So financial organizations like Bank of America, Biocorp, right? DCB Bank, DHFL Home Loans. The next, you can see, Fed Bank, Sundaram, uh, Royal Sundaram. These are some 
financial organization, Bharat Financial Inclusion. So all financial organizations, as well as got an opportunity to impart uh, one of the university also. So NMIMS University, where in, one of, in North, if you go, it's one of the top three universities. So one of the toppest uh, university in North. And a former organization, ISAT, New Land, BioCorp, BioCorp. The next uh, GBK Bio, all former organizations, Sanofi also is one of the former organizations where I imparted classes. So not only this particular corporate client, so got an opportunity to impact classes for government sectors also, where you can see water and land management, the next NTPC, and got an opportunity to impact classes for government sectors like uh, Group 1, Hope most of you are aware, like Group 1, Group 2, Group 4, civil services. Got an opportunity to impart classes for all these sectors. Most of the departments also, individual departments also have uh, got an opportunity to impart the training on MS office. Apart from this, one of my biggest achievement of my career is nothing but imparting classes for civil service officers. So civil service officers got an opportunity like around 10 to 12 batches, uh, those who have already cracked their civils. So IPS, IES, IRS, all these officers. And then uh, recently, uh, like last two to three years, those who have uh, cracked their IAS officers also. So those who have been uh, appointed for Telangana state, deputed to Telangana state. So got an opportunity to impart them also for IAS officers. And one of my biggest achievement of my career is nothing but imparting classes for IAS officers uh, in the year 2016. So where I got an opportunity to impart in-service IAS officers, not a fresher candidate, in-service IAS officers from 13 different states. <clears throat> so this is my experience. <clears throat> There you can see the experience also. So on that day, the session was also on for, for them on Excel itself. So to interact with them or to meet with them, we need to wait for some time initially, right? Or they will give a time also only just two to three minutes to contact, right? Got an opportunity to impart training for them from 13 different states. All our IS officers. In a batch, around 60 participants were there. From Telangana, only one participant was there. He is the person from Telangana state. From AP, from Jammu and Kashmir, right? From Chatya, Punjab, Delhi, different, different places. Right. Apart from this, uh, from last 10 years, I'm regularly conducting classes for civil service officers every year after that, but a fresh candidates. So these are the experience one. The fresh candidate that went apart from IS. If IS won't be trained, so he, here in Hyderabad, so will be they will be trained in Dehradun and different places. So these are the IS or uh, apart from IS, IPS, IES, IRS, Forest Service, Postal Service, all services. So in a batch, eighty participants. Right. So not only this uh, civil service, other different uh, departments also have imparted where police department is one of them and then custom department. Right. So apart from this, uh, government sectors got an opportunity to impart uh, private sectors also where you can see capital line in high, high tech city, Hyderabad only. So all are nothing but in a corporate environment is different when compared to government sector. So government, you can see 60, 80 participants. Whereas corporate, when you come, it will be limited to 15 to 20 participants. So all are managing the persons. So university related, and then MIMS University. Where I've imparted classes for uh, staff all as well as the college students. So other different are there, DCB Bank, DHFL, Fed Bank, Red Heritage, KCI, custom department. When we, we come across customs, it's an airport. So airport custom department, right? Police department. So here only 
battalions like Yusuf Guda nearby. So it's one of the biggest achievement. Like I and with all police, only civil dress one one person. Other different Kundapur and all, Rajendranagar, so different ESP and all. So this is about myself, a small introduction of mine. Right, so this is fine. Now, as a nothing but demonstration. So what I have done is I have taken one, uh, nothing but uh, whenever I go for a corporate training, they'll be calling for an advanced Excel. So only advanced Excel requirement. So like 15, 20 participants are fine. But when we start with a corporate or uh, advanced topics, most of the participants are not aware of the basics. They are interested to day-to-day uh, -to -day activity, they are working, that's fine. Then apart from that, when they are then when they want to go for an advanced Excel, so in that particular classes, when I go for some basic terminologies also, they are not aware. So what I have done is today for de today's demonstration, I have taken one example where we can just uh, think of where we are. So you know when we can go for an advance or we can go with the basics, right? So let us have a small uh, topic for today's session. So to, uh, today's session for demonstration, I have taken one simple example that is called as formatting. So one of the very most important topic when we are working in a day-to-day -day activities, right? So formatting. So what is this exactly? Let us see. In our regular day-to-day -day activity, we'll be working with this. But let's see how much we are aware in this. So even though we have, we are working with some basic terminologies also here. Let us see how much we can uh, work out with this. For demonstration, I have taken this particular exercise for today. So here you can see I have gone with the simple data that is related to an employee. Employee code, employee name, designation, right, department, location, designation, basic salary. I can easily see it's an employee details. That's fine. So now let me take you through one query here. Online, offline. Let me take you through one query. So these type of as I've gone with this particular terminology itself called as formatting. So can we tell this particular data is a formatted one? It's an unformatted structured data. It's not formatted, right? Formatted means it should be like this. It should be like this. But unfortunately, I came across with this. So now let me... <clears throat> Let me ask you one query in our regular day-to-day -day activity. When we'll come across these type of unformatted structured data in which scenario? We'll come across these type of unformatted structured data. Naresh, when we'll come across these type of unformatted structured data? Where we need to do formatting manually. You're asking something? Yeah, yeah. Hmm. So many, whenever we ask for any data for, for customer or anything, it will not be, it will be an unformatted stage. We need to format it and send or for oh, analysis okay. also we have to do some formatting and do. Right, right. Great. Online, offline? When we come across, one of the answers given by Adarish is fine. From your head, you didn't come across this type of unformatted one. Okay. So yeah, as you know, you are in a regular day field work only. So mm -hmm. I think you may not came across. You'll be entering the data or you're going with the reports only. Then you shall get this type of data. And I can see Balakrishna, new person have joined. Welcome, Rab Balakrishna. <clears throat> now, let me take you through one simple scenario here. So, most of the suppose 
I already showed you one example. This is a formatted data. When we copy and paste this particular data from one sheet to another sheet, we'll come across like this. Copy, paste, simple. Control C, Control V. We'll come across this. You are aware of this? Okay. All right. So unformatted text structure data, this one. When we copy paste from one sheet to another sheet, one scenario. And another scenario, like nothing but our colleague have shown, like from client when you when they say they share this particular file, we'll come across this particular one. Or nothing but nowadays we are totally going with an online platform. Reports, whatever reports you want, you can go with an online itself. Right. When you when you see that particular data, end of the day, if you want to that particular report to be sh shared to uh other client or in a meeting, if you want to go, so we have an option like that, but export to Excel. That so just will click a symbol or Excel, automatically it will download into Excel. So when you open that particular Excel file, it will look like this: unformatted structured data. Right. So that's fine. Now let me take you through one example. So I'm working with an organization, XYZ organization. My boss have asked me to download that. Uh, he's already uh, on the way to attend a meeting. Unfortunately, he missed out this particular data. This data. So he has called me and asked me to nothing but please download that XYZ report and share it to me. A simple scenario. My boss have asked me to just download and send to me. I will take care of the rest. I will take care. So I have downloaded this particular file. But unfortunately, it is in this particular format. Can I send this particular file to my sir? I can't send. I need to do some basic format without this because he is attending a meeting with a client. Right. So now uh, I want to do formatting to this. So what are the steps to do for formatting? Filter. Filter. And the filter. How so well? Basic formattings are needed, right? So, like basic uh, formatting, like formatting, ascending, descending, row. ascending, descending, good, other than sir. Only download JSON at pump pitch, then meeting attend out. No, unfortunately, a big only data in juice could have a first time download is pump pitch now, right? So, here you can see employee name. So on that but on screen you can see employee name full name is is we can see here M Rahul J it is totally cutting so what we need to do we need to increase the column width so manually will increase or else double click so that it will automatically adjust the column width right so here also department name double click right double click we can do that's fine so how as part of my demonstration I have taken seven different columns practically we won't be having only seven columns. We might be working with more than seven columns, like 10, 15, 20, 40, 60 columns also will be there, depend upon the client which you are working. Right? Let's take an example. I have 50 columns with me. So 50 columns, column wise, 50 columns are there. So 50 columns means 50 times double click means it takes some time. End of the day, we can work out, but 50 times it's a time taking process. So instead of that, Mostly what we'll do is we'll directly use this one. In between one and A, in between one and A, you can see a rectangle box. Just click on that. What it has done, it has selected the entire sheet, right? So now double click on any one of the column, in between any one of the column, you can see automatically it will adjust the column width based on the content. Based on content, it will automatically adjust the column width. That's fine. So you can work at the panel on the 40, 50, 100 columns also not an issue. With double claim, we can work out. Now, next question. What I or what next I can do here? Now can I send my file? Highlighting the highlighting the titles part. Title part, highlighting the title part. Hello, Santosh. Ah, boy. 
Sir, uh, I think you have joined uh, to another link. Which basically, our link is at uh, 8.30. Today is 10 30. From today, from today, our session is at 8 30. Okay, well, thank you. Okay. All right. So now next point, what is next point? Highlighting the title. All right. So highlighting title means nothing but what we'll do. Basically, with the help of mouse, I need to select. Right. If I'm not using my mouse point and working with my mouse pad, with my laptop pad, mouse pad. So it might be very difficult to select these 50 columns, right? 50 cells selected. So what we can do, we can directly select the first cell, use a shortcut command here. Shift to right arrow. Control shift right arrow. So that it will select a last point. That's fine. So now I want to let me highlight it. Highlighting, I think, but you can go with some color wise highlighting we can do. Or before going to color wise, you can uh, write bold, but it should be different with that regular data. So for bold, what we'll do? We'll use a universal shortcut key. Control B. Yes, Danesh Garo, same. Control B is the regular universal shortcut key. So can I know that but, uh, apart from this Control B, can, uh, do we have any alternate shortcut key apart from Control B? Everyone knows about Control B. So when you're familiar with, apart from control B, that will, they will be coming with an advance. Different from others. Alt H B1. Alt H. Alt H1. Bold. So Alt H1. So three keys we are using. Red. Instead of that, I can use control B. Two keys. Any other shortcut command? <clears throat> Balakrishna. Any alternate shortcut key for this? Just click on bold or shortcut tab. Okay. So yeah, uh, apart from the control B is a shortcut key, or with the help of mouse pointer, we'll be clicking. So do we have any other alternate? So other alternate, what you can do is here we can use control two for bold. Control two for bold. Similarly, control three for italic. You can see it will activate it directly. Control four for underline. If you want to remove, also you can use the same on off type. Control two, three, four, remove. All right. Now. So let me apply here first. Control two, bold is five. Now let me take you through one example. So till now this is five. And let me come outside of this particular report. So let's take an example today as we have a demonstration. So I I was expecting up to fifty participants to join the demo. So unfortunately some participants are not turned up due to some X Y Z reasons. So I, what I have done is I have make a note of all the participants those who are attended. Lord, let what overall details are there with me. So out of this all, so this particular person have not joined the session. So what we'll do, we'll, we'll make it to red color that for an indication, they have not joined the session. One indication that if you are using a soft copy or else once and that means if you are taking a printout, after printout, what we'll do, we'll mark a stripe with a pen. Like this particular person have not shown interest or not they are into meeting or xyz reasons right instead of taking a printout and marking manually we can mark on system itself like this so how to mark this this particular option is called as strike through striking striking off so this particular shortcut key is control 5 is a shortcut key to strike the selected cells not only sell, you can select the entire row and go for control five. You want to remove also, you can go with the same control five. That's fine. Now, that's fine. So now uh, let's come to our data. So apart from this title part, can I do some other thing or can I send directly this particular file? 
Do I need to do any other stuff in this? Before sending this particular file to my sir. Filter, not required. Is that just ask me to download and send? Is it fine? Now can I send this? No, we cannot send. What what else I need to do? What else I need to do? Borders, rows and uh, columns, borders. We right, have right. Let's go with Where this. Let's go with this border. And until unless you apply border, Excel data won't look like Excel data. All right, we need to apply borders also. So for borders, the first point is to select any one of the cell and then go for control A. Right, where you can see it will select only the content part. Right. Similarly, what I have seen with most of the participants, they'll be selecting a cell outside of the data and then go for control A, where it selects the entire sheet. Right. So what we need to do, we need to select a cell within the data and then go for control A. That's fine. So this is also one of the universal shortcut key to select the entire data control A. Do we have any other alternate shortcut key to select the data apart from control A? Everyone knows control A only. From school level, we are learning this control A, select all, control B, bold, control C, copy. So now, control one is for, you can see what it has done. It has gone to a window, format sir. So this shortcut you turn and control two, control three, and control one. Yeah, Naresh, from your end, any other stuff apart from control A? I know control A only. Okay, okay, right. No problem. We'll be learning today a new shortcut. Right. So not only one shortcut key. We have like two to three shortcut keys are there to select apart from control A, other different shortcuts. Two to three shortcuts are there. Let us see one by one. Some positive points, some negative points, like more than control A, two keys are there, more than two keys also we have a shortcut. So let us see one by one. So one of the shortcut key uh, starting itself, we have seen this, select first cell, control shift right, control shift down. You can see my data will be selected. But the problem is control shift down, uh, right side, control shift down. So six keys we are using. So it is a very lengthy one, but data is selected, right? One, one shortcut key. Another shortcut key, what we can do is, so we can use control shift space bar. Select any one of the cell within the data, control shift space bar. Though I'm using this key, but that but here you can see control shift space bar. Three keys I'm using, whereas control is the best. Right. So now let me go with the third one. So third one is that but select any one of the cell within the data and then go for control asterisk symbol. Control star. Control star. You can see my data has been selected. Similar like control E. Two keys. Right. So now uh, the question comes like what is the difference between this control A and control asterisk? What is the difference between control A and control asterisk here? So let me take you through this. Uh, what we can do is suppose I'm selecting a cell outside of my data. When I go for control A, you can see it selects the entire sheet. Where else? If I'm selecting a cell outside of my data and then use this control asterisk, it won't select. It should have surrounding data, then only it selects the entire content part. That's the plus part of using this control asterisk. Now, I want to apply borders. So, I can apply borders here. That's fine. Most of what I can do here, as I was expecting actually about this. So, no words have concentrated date of joining. So date of joining basically it should be in a date format. Unfortunately because of copy paste or else from downloading. So this particular date has been converted to number. End of the day the, whenever we are working with dates it's a backend it's a number only. It calculates as number only backend in Excel. The dates. Now let me increase the column because if I convert into date format the width might not sufficient for this. So what we can do is let me increase the width Right. So now what we'll do, we'll just select the cell. 
So that when most of the time, what I've seen is, so it'll be selecting like this to select the column. Most of the time, 99%, right? More than 90, 95, 99, everyone uses the same method. So if I go to this, you can see as part of my demonstration, I've taken only 75 records. Whereas how many cells it is selecting here? Unnecessary selection. Right. So instead of this, I want to select only this 75 records. What you can do, first cell, control, shift, down arrow. You can see from start to end. That's fine. Now, if you want to go to top, from top to bottom, I have game. Now, I want to go to top and do other settings. I want to convert to date format. So, I don't want to do from bottom. I want to do all the changes from top itself. So, how we'll do? We'll go with this browse, that word scroll button to up so that you can see from top. But as part of my demonstration, I've taken only 75 records. What if, if I'm working with 1000 records, 2000 records, 20,000 records, 50,000 records. So the, when a number is increasing, the scroll button size will be decreased. Right. So if I have one lakh of record, it will be like thinner line. Right. So with that particular thin line, I can't move from bottom to top. It's very difficult to work out. Right. So what we can do is from bottom to top, if you want to go, we can use control backspace straight away with one shortcut key, we can go to top. Even though if you have 5 lakhs, 10 lakhs of records, with one go, you can go to top with the selection. That's fine. So till now it's fine. So now if you want to convert to date, I can directly go to this date format, shortcut. That's it. Date format. The next similarly, Salary. So salary also basic salary. When I'm going with the basic salary, basic salary. So I want to like a network as pronunciation, 18,547, 18 comma separator I want. Let's go with that. Just increase the column width. Control shift down arrow. Control backspace. You can go to top. And then simple on screen, you can use this particular option to apply comma separator. That's it. Fine. I guess you almost the changes have been done. Just select the data and then click on the screen. That's it. So you can see almost my data is done. No need to do any filtering, sorting. The formatting, almost the formatting work we have done. Now I can share this particular file to Concern uh, my boss so that he can attend meeting and whatever stuff he want to do, he, he will be showing. Right. So, like this, some of the basic parts we have discussed. Hope we have learned something new in this. New learnings. Right. So now, so this is a small introduction part of a formatting, how we can do. Now, let me show you. What are the stuff we will be learning in this particular uh, one month advanced Excel training from Excel Analytics, right? So let me show you what are the content we'll be working. So we'll be starting with the basics of Excel first because as, as I was just shown, formatting skills and all. So I'm using some shortcut commands and all. They are, if you are not familiar with this, it might be a lengthy process. So instead of that, we can compress. When you are going with an advanced, we'll be, we need to go with some advanced skills also. Right. So not only that, the student, the participant, those who are joining, they will be joining for advanced, but they are not familiar with the basics. So what we'll do is from our basic st strategies, we'll be showing, we'll be going with the basic, initial basic from scratch, right? From scratch, three to four days, we'll be going from the basic. So that once we go, come to advanced, everyone will be in one level, every participant, right? So we'll start from here like this. What introduction to Excel? What is Excel? What's the history of Excel? What are the terminologies used in Excel? What is the extension of Excel? Right. After that, we'll start with this: the interface of Excel, quick access toolbar, customization of toolbars, and all we'll be seeing in the basic one. The next in the similar kind of basic skills, we'll be discussing about the uh, home ribbon that's called as your clipboard. Cut, copy, paste related option. The main in this, the main focus will be on this one. The difference between paste and paste special. 
and also data types, different types of paste special options. Right. The next year we'll go with font group, alignment group. And this is also one of the very most important topic we'll be working, focusing more on this data types, right? The group, number group. Then next we'll discuss about <clears throat> this conditional formatting, formatting as table, table related was a newly implemented one. The next cells, fill options, cut, copy, paste, nothing but similar, clear, clear options, find, replace, go to all these particular stuff we'll be seeing. Right. Once we complete, like three to four days, we'll be working on this. Hardly the last to last five days. Based on the understanding, asking about the queries and all. Last to last five days. Two to four, four days, last three to four. But one, one session might be extra, like five days. After that, we'll be coming to advanced. So advanced Excel. Just to Right. Advanced Excel, what are the topics? We'll first, we'll start with, when you go with an advanced, the first point is important is working with formulas. How to write a formula? What is formula? How to understand the query and write a formula? So what I've seen with most of the participants, they'll be opening the previous file and then just copy the same method how he has the previous file. X, Y, Z person has done. The same. Suppose V lookup is there. So he has written the V lookup. I to write V lookup. So he has selected B3, I will be selecting B3. So the same step, he will be getting the answer, but at the end of the day, we might not be getting the answer. We'll be stuck with some point. Where we are stuck, why we are stuck, all these particular points will be discussed. Right, what is formula, how to start a formula, How? what is argument, what are the terminologies used when you are writing a formulas, mathematical formulas, operators, com uh, comparison operators, references, Text functions, date functions, logical functions, mathematical functions, the next statistical functions, information functions, lookup functions, the next reporting skills, like illustrating pictures, shapes, icons, and all. Sparklines is the new latest updation. And then we'll see about filters, slices, timeline, inserting option, hyperlink, header and footer, calculation options. The next reporting technique, printing techniques will be seeing data management techniques, working with different sources of data. All right. So uh, filter sorting, different ways of sorting of your data, different ways of doing filters. All right. The next uh, defining your execution, execution techniques. The next uh, formula auditing part. So in normal also we have an auditing for formulas also. How to do auditing, forecasting, outlining, protecting of your data. The next, you can see data analyzing, analysis and visualization. This is one of the last topic. So where we can see pivot table and pivot chart. Using this pivot table and pivot chart, we'll be working with the dashboards, right? So with this, we'll be completing and also we'll be working with one real-time da dashboard creation. So creating a creation of a real-time dashboard also will be discussed, right? Real-time data. So these other different data, will be working with some dummy data. But the last dashboard will be working with real time. So this is about your Excel topics, what we will be working. All right. So this to complete this Excel entire content, basically we will be working with 20 hours. 20 hours as we are working with 20, but hourly base. So it will be extended that but going with it 20 days. So 20 days plus or minus two to four days will be there. Plus or minus, plus no minus, it will be plus only. It depends upon the regular classes. Like a participant may ask, may ask some queries. To solve that particular query, one day might be taken. Right? So that's the reason we might be extending the sessions also. I'm not going with this 20, it's a minimum number. So minimum 20 sessions to do, to we will be completing. One or two classes more, it might be extended. So I'm not directly going with a 24 hours. Because... In some situation, it happens like, so in 28 sessions itself, we'll be completing our sessions. Yes, Balakrishna, myself, Mohammed Khadir. Now, so 20 to 24 hours, we'll be completing our Excel, right? So... Our session will be, we are planning to start our session timing with the respective theme, 7.30 p.m. to 
8.30 p.m. daily, Monday to Friday. Saturday, Sunday will be off. Right? So if all goes fine, thank you, Balakrishna Garo. All right. So if all goes fine from tomorrow itself, we'll start our session or else we'll take one day time to start uh, the sessions. So day after tomorrow will be starting. If all goes fine from tomorrow itself. Or else to add few more participants, we may we might take one, one day extra. From day after tomorrow, we'll be starting our sessions. Straight up. Any questions you are welcome to ask. Yes, study material will be there. Yes, study material will be there. But it's a software. Because most of the courses are online. So for them, we can't. So straight away, we will, we will be going with a software. Oh, great. Okay. Is, is it possible to attend these particular timings or you want some other timings to join? Okay, shortly, Lakshman, most probably after Dashara only we might be starting morning classes. So morning we are we are regularly planning from 8.30 to 9.30. Shortly, here after Dashara only we will be starting. All right. Any other queries? Bujayat. And Narish offline. Yeah. How? Oh. Our time long holders are anyway. That won't be in counting. We will be sharing you the recordings also. We will be sharing you the recordings, daily recording once we complete the class. Next day morning because it's an evening part. So front office will be closing their office time hours will be closed. So next day morning from 9.30 to 10 o'clock, you'll be receiving the recording. Next day morning. Is. As I told the content, all will be working. Mostly we'll focus on formatting, method formulas and then reporting skills. Yeah, uh, Kadir, uh, can I drop off? I'm having another call. So yeah, this yeah, recording yeah. I can uh, listen, right? Yeah, that's it. Uh, I'm done with my topics. Yeah, Any things you. you can, otherwise you can drop. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, Mujahid, how will be the practice? Practice material I'll be sharing as well as the raw data as I just now taken the raw data like this. Similar data I'll be sharing with you all once joining classes will start. I'll be sharing these type of regular exercises with you all so that simultaneously you can do or at home you can try. The same exercise. Right. So raw data will be given. Yeah, you can share your contact numbers. 20 days. 30 days and then holidays one month out of the five four weeks. One month and that's why I'm I'm giving you total clarity here itself. So one month period is nothing but 20 days, 20, uh, but Monday to Friday will be having classes, one week. So four weeks, five, four, 20. It might extend one more week, like four days or five days. That, that with your queries? Or else you can also try here your laptop also you can. Right. So we'll wind up with this. Thank you. Thank you all.